Welcome back children to part 2 of chapter 7 human settlements. So today we will study the settlement patterns in Brazil. Study the settlement pattern of Brazil. Okay on page number 47 of our textbook in the figure 7.2a and b we can see images of two settlement patterns in Brazil. One is from the Amazon River Basin and the second is from the coastal area. Now we have to observe these settlement patterns and write their types and density. Okay, we have to comment on their density. So if we observe this particular image, okay, we see this is the Amazon River Basin. This is, I'm sorry, this is the Amazon River and this is the Amazon River Basin. Now if you see here, the one in the brown, we see settlements over here. Okay, but the settlement is very less. It is scattered and dispersed. We see settlement on either side of the river. So this, we uh, this type of settlement is scattered or dispersed settlement. Okay, now if you remember, this is Manaus. Okay, this is the city of Manaus, which is highly populated here. Okay, so this type of settlement here on either side of the river is a scattered type of settlement. And since it is scattered, the density of population is low. Now we move on to the next figure, okay, which is figure 7.2b now this is a city in the coastal area of brazil this is sao paulo now if you see here it is highly it is uh, there's huge settlement here okay the settlement pattern here is nucleated pattern lots of settlements close to each other okay so this type of settlement is nucleated settlement and since it's nucleated the density of population is high in this particular area now let's study how the settlement patterns developed in brazil earlier the europeans that is the dutch portuguese formed settlements in brazil the settlements were mainly in the coastal areas now if you see here Okay, the settlements, the Dutch settled in this particular area and the Portuguese, they settlement in this coastal area. So this is how settlements took birth in the coastal areas of Brazil. Below is a map of the early settlement areas of Brazil. As we can see, many of the settlements are concentrated in the southeast areas of the country. So if you see here, we see the settlements in the southeast area of the country, okay, and mostly in the coastal side. Here also, if you go to see, we see most of the settlements are concentrated in the southeast part of Brazil and in the coastal part of Brazil, whereas the other places, other regions uh, show scarce or sparse population. Okay, so if we see here, this is southeast. So if we see, if we compare both the maps, we see most of the population in southeast and the coastal part of Brazil, whereas the central and the northern part of Brazil have a very less population. You can see settlements are developed and densely populated in the coastal areas of Brazil. So in this particular figure, we see a nucleated type of settlement. Despite the hot and humid climate in the coastal areas of Brazil and limited flat land due to rubbed topography. Now, what do we mean by rubbed topography? By rubbed topography, we mean uneven or irregular forms and features of lands such as hills, mountains, valleys, rivers, roads, dams, oceans, etc. So here there is a good supply of water and a large range of natural resources. So in spite of this, 
these constraints we find huge water supply and natural resources in this region now if we remember in the in chapter 3 we have uh, learned about the physical features of brazil so if we go through this map once again we see that the areas in dark green okay these are the flat lands or the plain lands then we have the ones in colored in yellow here are the plateaus with a height from 500 to 1000 and the ones in brown their height is more than 1000 so in spite so and here if you go to see we see wet swampy lands so because of this okay because of all these features the topography of brazil is rugged sao paulo is the best example of dense population okay it shows nucleated types of settlements and a region which has good water supply and natural resources the reasons for nucleated settlements in Sao Paulo in detail okay now first extensive area it has an extensive area of rich soil which is very well suited for coffee growing so in this picture we see large cultivation of coffee okay because of the rich soil it has the second reason is supply of natural minerals such as iron ore bauxite etc and a steady energy supply that means there is no shortage of electricity here now if you see in this picture we see mining industry in carried out in this particular region the third reason is good transportation system so due to the plain surface due to the plain and flat surface the coastal part of brazil and the southeastern part of brazil has a very good transportation system and the development of transport uh, transportation system is very cheap in these areas compared to the other areas because of the flat terrain following map clearly shows agricultural activities natural resources and various industries in brazil so if we see here coffee is cultivated so here we have coffee coffee is cultivated on a very large scale in sao paulo and other southeastern regions of brazil we find concentration of minerals such as iron ore in and around Brazil, I'm sorry, in and around Sao Paulo and other coastal parts of Brazil. So we find all these minerals specially concentrated in these regions. Apart from the other regions, we see more concentration in the coastal regions. Then we have many industries which have developed specially on the in the coastal areas of brazil and we see more concentration of industries in the southeastern part of brazil so all these factors give rise to huge population so if we see the coastal area is therefore densely populated and there are more settlements in this particular region Seen in our previous chapters that the northeastern the northeastern part of the highlands okay which is also known as uh, drought quadrilateral experiences very less rainfall at times no rainfall and that's the reason this particular region experiences droughts or famines okay so we see in this picture because of a uh, less rainfall or no rainfall this particular region is experiencing famine hence the practice of agriculture is less in this region so we see the practice of agriculture is less in this region and hence population is also less resulting in sparse settlements so as we move towards the central part of brazil we find 
dispersed or scattered type of settlement now when we see this figure we see maximum population is concentrated in the coastal parts of brazil and the northern and the central part of brazil is less populated okay now let's understand the reasons why there is sparse settlement in the central parts of brazil the first reason is most of the area is covered by thick dense equatorial forest okay since it's very dense it is inaccessible for human beings and hence it is less populated okay and since it's less populated there is sparse settlement now when we see some parts of this region receive rainfall in summer okay between november to april but in the form of heavy torrential downpours okay giving rise to storms and floods and thus it makes the life difficult in this region okay then we see here swampy lands so all these factors are responsible for less population and sparse settlements when we move on to the second reason the climate here is unhealthy and unfit for settlement now we already know that the climate uh, in the most of the parts of brazil is hot and humid okay and that's the reason it becomes very unfavorable especially in this area okay especially in these areas okay the climate is unhealthy and unfit for settlement limitations on use and exploitation of natural resources is the other reason why settlement is less the last reason is poor transport links in this region so we've already seen in the previous diagrams okay that transportation is concentrated more in the coastal areas than in the central parts of brazil because of the uneven topography here okay so with this children we have come to an end of our today's session hope you have understood thank you stay home and stay safe goodbye